All right, so last time I was saying that I was gonna do a video on my other project, and I am. So yeah, this is my first car, and yeah, here it is. There it is. My 1999 Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS. It's not a 2.5 anymore, but it's, I'm still working on it. Before anyone starts saying it's a 22B, it's not a 22B. It doesn't have the 22B uh, wide quarter panels, doesn't have the 22B wide fenders. So, so yeah, I bought this car back in, I think, 2012. This is my first car I've ever bought. Uh, I do have a picture of it somewhere. I'll post it in the video of what it used to look like. And then, this is what it looks like now. Uh, the things I've done to it, um, if you've seen the picture, obviously, paint job. It's got a paint job done to it. Um, let's see. This bumper, straight from Japan, brand new from Fuji. Uh, the bumper was not cheap. These uh, rear bumper spats, those came from straight from Japan. Uh, let's see. This bumper was from Japan, but was bought by um, a Malaysian rally team. This came off a rally car, this bumper. This is the sports style bumper. It looks like the 22B, but I... I'm telling you right now, it is not the 22B bumper. It is the sports style bumper. Everyone keeps on getting that confused. I'm just letting you know. Uh, I do have the fog light covers in there inside the car, but uh, I still have to rig it up. I had to make custom uh, mounts and brackets to make the stock 2.5 uh, fog lights fit. This one got damaged. I have to find another replacement for that. Um, I'm going to change these out to the le legitimate uh, uh, corner lights from Japan. These are just the eBay ones, and uh, I want the legit ones. So those got to go. Let's see what else. Oh, yes. This um, this honeycomb grill. Uh, this isn't the uh, American one. As you can see, it's the honeycomb style. Uh, I forgot what the other style was. I think it was just regular diamonds. I don't remember. But, yeah, this one straight from Japan. The color of this used to be orange, but it got painted blue because I wanted the whole car to be blue. Um, came stock with the uh, the car came stock with this hood uh, hood scoop and stuff like that because it's the 2.5 RS. Yeah, this is the other side. The side skirts come stock with it. Um, let's see what else. My car is a mess inside because I'm storing car parts in the car. As you can see, uh, that is the heat shield for the turbo. Those are the, uh, fog light covers, like I said. Some extra piping for the turbo and intercooler. The bolts for the bell housing, some other stuff. Alright, so we got the headers from, uh, the, uh, 2.5 RS. These... I'm probably try to sell them on Craigslist. I'm not sure how much I want them for, but they're by the company Sudo. T S U D O. So that's the stock 2.5 RS, you know, intake and shit, but that stuff is not going to be there anymore. Um, this is a suede blue shift boot. Cartboy shift knob. It's a five-speed transmission. Uh, interior is the STI interior. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think this might be the 2004 because the there's also other models that have the uh, black accent right here that goes to like in a U shape. But yeah, STI interior. Even the uh, carpet is from the STI as well. Uh, floor mats came off uh, like a 2002 WRX. 
Oh man, this car's a mess. I have some hoses for the car. Not sure if you can see it in the light. Hoses uh, for some of the uh, shit. I'm not sure if these are uh, graded for oil, fuel, or if they're just regular for air and for antifreeze. I'm not 100% sure. That was for my brother. But uh, stock steering wheel, whatever. I might have to change out the cluster. I don't know. This my brother gave me this uh, radio for my birthday. Still gotta hook it up. A little piece right here. Actually, fun fact: in Japan, this passenger airbag is actually a glove box. So there is no airbag in Japan. I think that was just the options. Also has a sunroof, which I kind of don't want because the motor inside does add some weight to it so I don't know weight reduction but you know I like little fancy stuff so I'll just leave it in there even though it's not gonna look like a legitimate uh, Impreza from Japan all right so let's look at the heart of this thing Just put the get this thing. Still not done, still not finished. So yes, this is the EJ207 imported straight from Japan. Uh, this is a 2.0 liter. Uh, people get it mixed up. The American STIs have the 2.5, the Japanese ones have 2.0 STIs. So yeah, um, as you can see, it's right here, and it's bolt. Well, it's sort of bolted up to my stock 2.5 transmission. Uh, although I might want to change that to a 6 speed STI, but I need a custom drive shaft made. Um, Cusco uh, front sway bar imported straight from Japan. Oh, that battery's old as fuck. I need to get rid of that thing. But um. As you can see, yeah, as I said, it was painted before I painted it. Uh, original color was black, as if you can see in the picture, obviously. Yes, it is turbo. Um, can't really sh show you because it's not much to see, but there is no shaft play in this thing. No shaft play at all. But my brother said he was going to give me his bigger turbo from his WRX. So that's a... Uh... I'm just, I'm, I've essentially been getting free stuff from my brother. Oh yes, uh, the WRX cross member, because if you use the stock 2.5, the up pipe, which is located under here, under the turbo, will not clear the cross member, so you have to get the WRX cross member to make that work. If you try to cut it, you sacrifice your front sway bar being mounted and you don't want the thing to have massive body roll it's gonna be like a boat um i'm still working on the car stuff like that still not running yet um i still have to figure out some custom lines for like the power steering ac and stuff like that and yeah most of the stuff on this car is from japan or just yeah i like to say japan i don't like saying jdm That's the bottom high flow cat. Probably gonna take that out though. Still gotta figure out how to make this thing pass emissions because it is a 99. So yeah, pretty much all this car, almost everything that I bought is, you know, imported straight from Japan. Except for this. That was eBay. And this, which was also eBay. I mean, this car's come a long way. I'm just slowly taking my time. The car's probably going to get some stuff done to it again, body-wise. But uh, I don't want to do the 22B wide body kit on it. So yeah, this is just to let you guys know. 
because everyone's been telling me to do a video on this car. So you got the video. Now please leave me alone. Yes, I will probably do videos and updates on this car. But uh, I've just been super busy. And the fact that the rice truck has spun a bearing a second time. It's been a little struggle. But thanks for watching. You know, I hope you like what you saw. And have a good one. Okay, so before I finish uploading, you know, editing the video and whatever, I'd just like to let you guys know that if you want to follow this whole, you know, project, this this build, um, you can follow me on my personal Instagram, which is the underscore failed abortion. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, that Instagram is for personal stuff, so I'll be posting things in my personal life about this car possibly the rice truck um and some like really offensive memes i post a lot of fucked up memes there uh and if you're easily offended and butthurt i would suggest you not follow me but if you can surpass all the uh, the savageness and stuff feel free to follow so like i said the underscore failed abortion thanks for watching see you guys later